Good morning, YouTube modeling community. This is Ron coming to you from Grandpa's Toy Room. <coughs> Excuse me. On a pretty nice Saturday morning with a final on my Jeff Model Blog Appreciation Bill. Um, finally got this Vegas done. I know Jeff likes good track cars because he is even a good friend of, of Tony Stewart uh, has met him several times, goes to a lot of dirt track races. So I built a dirt track car for Jeff for my appreciation build. Uh, we'll do a little, we'll remove this card back here, and we'll do a little spin around on it so you can see it front to back. Uh, this was an awesome kit. I really like this. Um, and I did get really carried away with all the uh, detailing and stuff on it. But I'll tell you what, this card just deserves to be totally detailed. So I'm very, very pleased with the way it came out. Um, <coughs> pleased with the kit. It was a super nice kit. Um, I hope the stuff is showing up. My paint job is just a little bit on TV. Had trouble with it the first time around, and so I had to sand it and clear coat it. Uh, I was just going to leave it as red without the clear coat, but ended up doing the clear coat on it. Um, because of the way the first paint job come out. I'm going to see if we can get a little bit closer here. And we will remove the hood, maybe. Ha <laughs> guys, come on. There we go. And then we will tip it up on the tires. Uh, I just finished it this morning. I put the put the headers on and put the, the sidebars on. Um, I hope this really focuses and shows up good because I added all kinds of detail to it. Um, the first thing I did was make my rubber radiator hoses like normal and then I did the fuel line from the fuel cell all the way up to the carburetor. Um, I'm going to Try and get up here a little bit closer and see if we can keep it focused. Sorry about the giggling around, guys. I'm not sure how much of this stuff you're going to be able to see on my video. I hope a lot. Um, we did the spark plug wires, of course, and we did the battery cables. The ground cable goes down, attaches to the frame. The positive cable comes down and actually attaches to the starter on the side of the block. Um, we ran wires from the starter to the dashboard, uh, to the firewall, up to the dashboard, and also wires off the alternator up and into the dashboard. Um, we do have the throttle linkage on it. We put the uh, brake lines, ran the brake lines on it all the way. You can see the top front ones here, I think. Um, we did build, scratch build a radiator filler and cap um, right here for it because there was nothing on the radiator um, for a filler, so we Stacks built that and put it on. Um, and if I turn over kind of slow here and maybe get at the right angle, there you can see the brake line going from the master cylinder down to the floor pan. And then as we roll it over and try not to have a major crash here. 
<laughs> Saturday morning, and I've had either way too much coffee or still not enough. I'm not sure. <laughs> you can see the uh, power, the main 12 volt lead coming down here, going under to the starter. Uh, you can see a fuel line run all through there, back to a little electric uh, fuel pump. Crack, crack built and put on the side of the tank. Um, on the other side, I don't know if we can roll it real careful. Yeah, I think we can see it. Um, you can see the brake lines running back, and of course they're going across the top of the quick things at the end and into the, into the back of the wheels. Um, you can see my, my steering linkage kind of, that I had the scratch built, and with the angles of it, we had to use several universal joints before it got into the actual steering box, and then the drag link coming up to the, to the front steering, so it's, I can tell you a lot faster, the detail I did, than the amount of time that it took me to do it, but it was well worth it. Um, the car is a beautiful little race car. I have two more kits. I have another Vega. And I have the uh, Pinto, I think it is, which I will definitely build one of these days because I really enjoyed it. And I do love my dirt cars. So, anyhow, that is my Jeff Model Dodge Association build. Jeff, I hope you and the ferrets like it. It's only got one seat in it, so the ferrets can't go for a ride. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you everybody uh, for watching my channel, all my subscribers. I appreciate the comments that you guys leave on my videos. And I think that's probably, I'm just rambling now, so I think we'll just call it the end. And... Thanks again for, uh, man, I can't even remember now who started the Jeff's Appreciation Build. Don't remember if it was Charlie Mack or who it was. But anyway, thank you so much. Um, thanks again, guys. This is Ron from Grandpa's Toy Room saying so long for now. <laughs>